My name is Anita Nye and I am a second year majoring in allied health sciences on a pre-medical tract. I started twirling in third grade and there was an after school program at the school that I was attending and when I joined I just it like clicked. I had tried so many sports before that even though I was only third grade. I tried gymnastics, tennis, swimming, and nothing really stuck with me the way that baton twirling did. And now, the beginning of this school year marks my 12th year of twirling. Twirling is kind of a combination of dance with gymnastics, and it's also like the agility and the accuracy of being able to shoot a basketball or hit a baseball. It really combines all components of athleticism into one sport. In the past, I've strictly trolled NBTA, and this summer I decided to try USTA. And this summer was a qualifying year to go to International Cup, which is held next summer in August, and it is in France. This past summer, I qualified in two baton, three baton, and dance twirl, and I will be representing the USA next summer as a soloist for the first time. It's a really exciting experience and it's really hard to put it into words, the feeling that you get when you take the floor representing your country. I remember stepping on the floor in Lillehammer, Norway this past spring and it was my first time representing the United States as a core captain and I was just overwhelmed with pride and joy. There's a definite difference between field twirling and competitive twirling. Myself as a field twirler, I try to incorporate a lot of gymnastics moves into my routines like walkovers and aerials just because they're real crowd pleaser tricks. One of the main differences between competitive twirling and field twirling is in competition, you're really focusing on your technique, making sure that your feet are together, tight and susu, your toes are pointed, legs are locked. Um, and of course, all that is wonderful on the field as well, but I think something that is more prevalent in field twirling that doesn't translate so well into competitive twirling is what I call like save catches. Um, if you have a really bad toss on the field, you're more likely to dive after it and land in a split or do something crazy just to catch it and then the crowd just erupts because they're like, oh my gosh, how did you catch that? And in competition twirling, that's really frowned upon and you actually will lose points for having bad placement. My favorite trick to perform is a high toss side aerial and that begins with a simple high thumb toss and then I do an aerial underneath it which is a cartwheel with no hands. I think the best part about baton twirling is the opportunities that it has provided me with traveling not only within the country but out of the country. Um, next summer that'll be my third time traveling out of the country for a baton competition. So that's pretty exciting and I think the best part about it is the relationships that you're able to form with twirlers around the country and now globally. Twirling has definitely given me an outlet to express myself creatively. I've never been like really good with art and drawing and painting and things like that, but when it comes to twirling, I was just able to express myself 